now yeah we have understood the architecture of distributed version control system now let's talk about the architecture of git in particular so like i said every distributed version control system will have to yes this is the local repository let's say this is my laptop this is my workstation okay so yeah we i have got copy of this local repository like i said i don't work directly on this local rather i work on this working directory okay i'll work on this working directory make the changes and working directory is, let's say some other directory or else a folder from here i cannot push my changes like this to local then what i should do i should be pushing my changes back i mean i should be pushing my changes to some other layer called staging area do you see this staging area i have to push them to staging area what is the staging area staging area is nothing but a virtual layer or a virtual area okay you don't see it's not a physical directory it's a virtual layer which sits between working directory and local repository and which provides or which acts like a preview or else uh, what do you say it's like a pretest before you move your changes to local means it will help you to control to have a good control on the changes which are going to local means let's suppose in staging area uh, or else in working directory you have 10 files you just want only five files to put in local so yeah you move only those five files to staging whatever in the staging area will be moved here so that you have a better control on what changes you are moving to local you will understand this i'll do, uh, in few minutes in some five minutes we are getting to lab so that you will understand you will practically see what is the staging area and all but now understand yes it's like it provides you all like a preview or else a, a pre-check before you are, you move your changes to local right it and also it gives you a good control on managing the changes which changes should go to local okay so first you move to staging area then from staging area only you have you can move to local you cannot just move from staging to remote no not possible you have to go only in this direction am i making sense you have to go only in this direction so then from local to remote so it's like a three steps first step second step third step it's like a three steps before you move your changes to remote this is called git tree okay or else git architecture whatever you call it. it's a git tree three steps before your changes goes to remote okay what is git commit what is git add these commands so many commands we are going to learn so don't worry about them just understand the concept i repeat yes every person will have a local repository on their workstation on their laptop so when they make changes they don't make changes directly here they make changes in some directory move them to staging then to local once you move to local okay you want to share with others you want to publish it in the project you move to remote unless until you move to remote no one else can see your changes this is your own changes confined only for yourself right understood the architecture that's all is the architecture is this much clear I'm going point by point so that you should not have any confusions. So see, Git is very interesting tool and it is also tricky. Means for a beginner, it may sound a bit confusing or it may sound a bit complex. But once you actually learn it in a proper way, in a proper structured way, okay, understanding the concepts, you can play with Git. So yeah now that you understood okay how you move your changes how you move your files lay, uh, to a version control system let me tell you few pointers here first thing is how is local repository created in two ways one is yes let's let's take a use case okay you are working in a project or else let's say okay you join the project now okay it's a six year old project already the code base is there on remote so many developers so many devos persons are connected to it they were working on it now you join the project okay it's a six year old project now yeah you need to get a copy so you get a you create a local repository in your system by copying from remote this is one use case the other use case is okay 
you joined a company it's a new project completely new project developing from scratch there's nothing on remote so what do you do you create empty local repository manually lr means local repository so manually you create a local repository develop the changes there then push to remote create remote repository that's another use case understood these two use cases everyone any confusions questions here yeah all good okay so now we will be you know like i said we'll be going to our server we'll be installing git we'll be first taking up this scenario okay we'll be taking up this use case then later on we'll also go to this use case so keep in mind we'll be creating local repository manually assuming it's a new project so this is one thing you have to note another thing is okay here coming back to this yes i said working directory is some other directory staging area is like a virtual layer local repository is some other folder or else if you are a linux person directory or a folder in linux we call it as a directory if you are a windows person it's a folder let me tell you the actual truth here strictly speaking these two directories actually are the same then you may be asking then why are you saying working directory some other directory local repository some other directory physically they are same it's the same one and the same folder let's say take some folder in your windows this is your local repository the same is your working directory yes that's true um local repository working then how come you say working directory from working directory you push to staging and all physically they are same logically they are different what is meant by that let me tell you let me put a big folder okay this is your local repository also working how come you could say the same folder is local let me tell you suppose you just created a file a config file you just created a file means you just kept a file in this directory in this folder or you just created a file in this directory then you say yes the file is in the working directory relate to this architecture like suppose you make some changes to this config file okay like i made some changes to this configuration file okay then then suppose you add it to staging area by running git add this config file then the file is set to be in the staging area okay then later on you go and commit the file git to commit that particular file then you say yes that is in the local repository physically it's the same folder logically it's different it's one and the same folder if you just simply put the file and leave it it's set to be in the working directory after that if you add it in the, to the staging area it's called it's in the staging area then if you commit then only you say it's in local then only you can push to remote got it now sounds interesting isn't it or else confusing if it is confusing let me know i can repeat and i can make it clear yes madam can you come back once again madam okay see uh, i am saying this working directory local repository is one and the same directory means physically same it's a folder it's a directory in your system it's a same directory physically same logically different how is that see in that folder if you just created a file okay you just created some notepad or else you just created some text uh, text file or else you just created some cfd whatever it is you just created the file there that's all you didn't do anything means it is said to be in the working directory after that if you add the file means if you run this command git add that file name then it goes into staging you say okay the file is in staging area then if you run this command git to commit that cfg file then it is said to be in local you say okay now the file is in local repository but physically it's in the same box see it's in the same directory logically this is how it is different when you run the commands git add yes it, we call okay it is in staging area 
if you do git commit okay then we say okay it's in the local repository see i'm explaining you theoretically what happens now in few in couple of minutes i'm going to show all of this with a hands-on so that you can relate to what i just have explained now understood now yeah got clear it madam clear madam right. thanks madam so just just remember these pointers okay note them uh, keep in your mind now we'll go to the lab and practically i'll demonstrate i'll show you what i have uh, said now 